so guys um you know uh in in medical knowledge um things are actually interrelated and as of now we are talking about the anatomy around the thorax and the abdomen and um today basically we'll be focusing on the heart i just know that if you are touching the heart in anatomy you are touching respiratory system in physiology okay so we'll be talking about the coronary sinus okay coronary sinus so they say that this causes the coronary sinus under the following headings okay um under the embryologic origin the source the cause destination approximate length and tributaries okay so um this is uh let's look at the coronary sinus this is the coronary sinus okay so we are discussing the coronary sinus under these headings right so coronary sinus is basically like a venous um structure around the heart don't worry we'll get to it so guys coronary sinus is a large venous structure located on the posterior aspect of the left atrium posteriorly and on the left atrium so it caused within the left atrioventricular groove okay atrioventricular groove uh left that's the groove they are dividing what the left atrium from the left ventricle hope you guys are getting the story so the function of the coronary sinus is to drain venous blood from majority of the heart okay so it opens into the right atrium between the opening of the inferior vena cava um the fossa ovalis and the right atrioventricular orifice okay so the coronary sinus is often guided by a thin semicircular endocardial fold also known as what the tebasian valve okay so um it opens into the right atrium okay between the opening of the inferior vena cava uh the fossa ovalis and the right atrioventricular or orifice so the coronary sinus is often regarded is it's often guided by a thin um, semicircular endocardial fold known as the tabation valve okay I like guys just locate where the coronary sinus is this is where the coronary sinus is all right so um embryologically the coronary sinus may be said to commence at the valve of the great cardiac vein okay with the oblique vein of marshall okay so can you see they are just trying to talk about this place all right it commences at the valve of the great cardiac vein can you guys see the story so it forms the union alongside the entrance of the oblique vein of marshall okay which then defines the beginning of the sinus okay oblique vein marshall all right uh, ob oblique vein of left atrium um the other name is oblique vein of marshall okay was that point again it forms a union alongside the entrance of the oblique vein of marshall now can you see that the oblique vein of marshall is entering into the coronary sinus so this is just the story guys hmm? this is just the story guys um also it's a wide venous channel that runs from the left to the right in the posterior part of the atrioventricular groove okay it is a wide venous channel that runs from the left to the right okay in the posterior part of the atrioventricular groove okay so um let's just get to our knowledge again you can see the coronary sinus here it begins at the angle okay you see the uh, the great cardiac vein okay and um uh, the oblique vein of left atrium oblique vein of marshall okay feeds into the what coronary sinus only that it is posterior okay the left atrium now it ends by opening into the posterior wall of the right atrium okay to the left of the orifice of the inferior vena cava okay now um the coronary sinus is about what three centimeters long and its tributaries are what small cardiac vein uh let's see if we see them in the small cardiac vein um you have the oblique vein of marshall this is it here oblique vein of left atrium is the same thing then we have the um um we have the word mid middle cardiac vein 
where's the middle cardiac vein this is a middle cardiac vein okay so um we have the great cardiac vein where's the great cardiac vein this is a great cardiac vein all these are tributaries of the coronary sinus we have the posterior vein of the left ventricle this is the posterior vein of the left ventricle okay the tributaries of the coronary sinus we also have the marginal vein right where's the marginal vein Marginal vein should be at the margin, okay? So this is the posterior view of the heart. So I think the, the marginal vein is not here, okay? But marginal vein is a tributary of the coronary sinus too. Okay, guys, um, this, um, these are notes on the coronary sinus. I'm talking about the embryological origin, the source, the cause, destination, approximate length, and tributaries, okay? So see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye for now.